then, I do hope you're all well. As you've noticed, I've been covering the cri criminal justice and delivering crime debate, where our hapless Home Secretary spent most of her speech party politicking and just being an outright vile individual. Well, as H Shadow Home Secretary was shredding our pretty awful Patel's nonsense to bits, made a complete belt up out of Kit Malthouse, you know, left him a bloody heap on the floor, and with his criminal statistics saying that theft and burglars were down while we were all locked up in our own homes. Well, up steps our latest celebrity 30p gruel master chef, yes, our Lee Anderson, to do his level best to defend our floundering home secretary. And with a straight face, he starts talking about how wonderful we've done with Ukraine refugees. Well, up steps not only Yvette Cooper to pour cold water all over his fantasy with facts, but so did Labour MP for Brighton Kempton Lloyd Russell Moyle. Enjoy. We have Ukrainians who are fleeing war, who have been waiting weeks on end for visas because the Home Office added long bureaucratic delays so that many desperate families have now given up. They could not afford to wait and have found somewhere else to live, somewhere else to give them sanctuary instead. Of well, the 80,000 applications, only 19,000 applications to the Ukra Homes for Ukraine have arrived. I will give way to the honourable member, and then I'll give way to the member. For, for giving way, she's very generous. Yeah, let's just prize I'd like to personally thank the, the Home Secretary. She makes a point about Ukrainian refugees. There was a family moved next door Lee, to me you, two you weeks take, ago. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the family got in touch with me. Within within minutes, the Home Secretary and her team had got back to me. They're now in 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 our village in Kirkby and Ashfield. They thank the Home Secretary. They thank the Prime Minister, and they thank the people of Great Britain. Yeah. Did the tech money? Well, I would just say to him, I think that people of Great Britain have shown that they want to help desperate families who are fleeing Ukraine. Um, I think, it, however, the facts are really clear. There have been 80,000 yeah, applications, but there's only 19,000 people here. And the Home Secretary says, oh, it's because they're staying where they are. Yeah, a lot of them are because they have now given up because it's become so difficult. I give way to the member. Does, does she agree with me about the really troubling reports that I've had, particularly in cases that I've dealt with, but in the media, that the Home Office will issue a number of visas for Ukrainians, but not all of the Ukrainians in that family? and therefore the family quite rightly doesn't want to leave someone behind and they then don't come here and that's classed as a Ukrainians not taking up the visa rather than home office failure and at the same time the home office lines are bogged up we can't get through and when you do get through you're told I don't even have a computer in front of me I'm just on a phone line I don't know what to say it's failure at the home office that she's presided over yes exactly and uh when I was watching that, she did brilliantly there. Clearly, both him and uh, Yvette Cooper exposed the utter nonsense that Lee Anderson was peddling. See, the trouble is, Lee Anderson, when you try to defend the indefensible, you more or less make yourself look like a clown. Man, she is a clown, isn't her? They appear dear. What a tit. Who was that handsome devil who said that at the end? I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> but both Yvette and Lloyd are absolutely spot on, aren't they? We all remember remember that very own story that Graham Hughes, our, great, our very own Graham Hughes, when he told James O'Brien about that pregnant Ukrainian woman who would rather take a chance with the Russian bombs than try a look with our visa plan that, let's be honest, has been designed to fail, hasn't it? Well, anyway, I shall leave the video here. Until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and um, take care.